We're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success through the year? Yeah, well, this is the time for coaches to experiment with lineup combinations. And for the players, it's important they learn each other's tendencies and, and try and work on building chemistry. Now here's Thompson outside Curry. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. The shot by Thompson, no good. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for Phoenix. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I briefly spoke with Coach Monty Williams. Defensively, he wants his guys to protect the rim and do everything they can to push the offense out to the perimeter. He told me, if we can do that, I feel good about our chances. Now, guys, obviously, that's a tall order, but he's trying to get his guys to get geeked for the challenge. Thank you, David. Booker getting contact, still finding a way to finish through it. And that was the Mobile One Drive.
well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim, that's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Man, Devin Booker is a true shooter. A walking bucket, always ready to let it fly. And the proof is right there in the numbers, Greg. I mean, two seasons in a row, he's been top 10 in field goal attempts. So he knows how, when, and where to get that ball up. Now, here's Thompson. After the miss from Mr. Clutch. I like it when Stephen Curry gets to the inside and goes up strong. Just wants to convert from there, and he gets the chance. Now, here's Crowder. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Miami. Here's Mr. Clutch. Nailed from three-point land. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Right side curl. Thompson against Booker. Now, here's Thompson. T right on him. Second chance shot. And that one is good. We're going to talk about this a lot, but when Clay starts to show that kind of aggressiveness, it's a great sign of confidence coming back. And the wide open shot from Crowder. They get it back. Another shot, and the layup by Sharks. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Curry, good. Good shot selection there from Steph, feeling the rhythm and then easily connecting on the pull-up. On the wing, Booker. They set the pick over Thompson. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got his third bucket of the night. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Green. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Shoots the three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Phoenix has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And he trills it. Beautiful release there for Mr. Clutch. Mr. Clutch has got six. Booker's all-around game is really coming together. Nice play there. Just thinking aloud. They'll have Bridges and Crowder. Evan Booker out there with Mr. Clutch. And it's Sharich in at the five spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 22-point game against San Antonio. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So he's passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. And here's Booker after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Thompson against Booker. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And the title winning 2017 Warriors, Brent Berry. What made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Ray Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin, but to me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played with so much freedom and so much enjoyment. Uh, you don't see that all that often. So the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character. That's what made it special. Booker and the dunk by Booker. And Booker heating up like this. It's going to lift the confidence of the entire team when he gets it going offensively. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says... If you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, drink the numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. DA, thanks. Here's Curry. 
to the made shot from Mr. Clutch. Bangs home the trifecta. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. In the corner, Crowder with it. Bridges outside. Two minutes. Charge with the screen for Bridges. No good that time. Great tee that time from Green. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he can communicate that quite well. Now, Booker, after the missed three from Stephen Kerr. Mr. Clutch's shot is off. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, He's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Curry. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Pierce probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking for, Let's understand that that could improve their game, so why not take it from one of the best in the business? Free throws here for the night. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Sharich. Torrey Craig comes in for Jay Crowder. Landry Shamit's checked in for Mikael Bridges. And Paul's subbed in for Devin Booker. Now, here's Poole. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Just four to shoot. Over Paul. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Now here's Paul. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Drills the three-pointer. And he is in the zone right now on offense, guys, building off that efficient first quarter. Now here's DiVincenzo. Eight-point game. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Fires for three. Cranes the three-pointer. DiVincenzo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. DiVincenzo saying, I got that too. That's tipped. And he's Number four. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Jordan Poole. And Jordan Poole has stepped onto the NBA and not at So it's Devin Booker making out. Thanks. And for that matchup with the Jazz, let's be honest, they're clear. Getting into that first half we just saw, fellas, it feels. That'll do it for our show tonight. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. And, guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Johnson in the backcourt with Green at the four. James Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big game. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. There's Mr. Clutch following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. Crowder, the pass to Bridges. From outside, off the mark. The Warriors trail. Passes to Wiggins. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle soon.
Showing a bit of strength, even with that frame of his, able to take the punishment and still get the score. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And up to this point on the season, he set a pace of right around 73% when he gets to the line. Now here's Sharich. Has to miss the clutch. Fires at the elbow. Weisman with the rebound. The Warriors shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games. Because of those third pick and foul. Shooting for Golden State, James Wiseman at the line for one. The previous play is everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They have decided. You got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. We're double checking, and the game continues on. And Brent, unfortunately, the young career of James Wiseman has been plagued by injury. Yeah, it's been really tough, Kevin, with that meniscus injury, 39 games into his career. He had his surgery, and then he was trying to come back, and multiple setbacks in his pathway to try to get back on the floor and become an impact player as the first overall pick a couple years ago. We kept him out the entirety of last season. Hopefully, this is the year where we see him fully healthy. Mr. Clutch buries it from three-point range. Mr. Clutch has got 16 points. And Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. And there's the pass to Wiseman. Now Wiggins. Outside Kerr. There's the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Crowder's got his fourth rebound in this one. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Curry deciding where to go with it. He dishes it to Thompson. Wiseman gets to Wiggins. Trying to find Curry. He's got it now. Another miss by Curry. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Just two for two. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Johnson, he's checked in for Sharich. Torrey Craig comes in for Bridges. And it's Paul in for Devin Booker. Different look here for the Warriors. Green, he's checked in for Green. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Poole subbed in for Curry. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo getting those feet together, and Dante does the rest. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. It is hard to forget the crazy draft night for Bridges in 2018. Drafted 10th by his hometown Sixers, his mom was an employee with the team. But he was traded an hour later to Phoenix. He says, it was tough, but once I came here, I loved it. The group of guys we had, I knew I wanted to be here. They are sure glad they got him, Kevin. They are indeed, no doubt. D.A., thank you. Kaminga, no good. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. Check 
back in for the Suns. 106 left to play in the third. Poole against Paul. Poole the pass to Kaminga. Here's Wiseman. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Wiseman's got his second basket of the game. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Craig against Green. Paul with the three. Warriors trail by five. Pass to DiVincenzo. Kaminga sets a screen for DiVincenzo. And there's a whistle that goes on Mr. Clutch. That's foul number two for him. And the Suns call time. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Poole against Paul. Six to shoot. Rebound by the Suns. Craig's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Shamit. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Shamit's got his first bucket of the night. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around. And offensively, a great show for the fans to fall. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. Paul out there with Mr. Clutch. And it's Sharich in at the center position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And when Stephen Curry has these kind of nights where he's hot like this, it is must-see TV. Sharich with the screen for Johnson. Lays it up off the glass. And the Suns lead by five. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Passes it to Curry. Bridges with the steal. Pass to Mr. Clutch. They grab their own miss. Sharch dishes to Paul. The second chance effort. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. Mr. Clutch comes in for Chris Paul. Different look here for the Warriors. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Tremont Green. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Clay Thompson. Here's Bridges. He gets that one. Bridges has got four points this quarter. And Bridges elevating his game. is inside. Phoenix grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 11 points. Crowder kicks to Booker. Good ball over here by the Suns. Mr. Clutch on the wing bridges. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. That's just poor communication between those two. The passer has to make sure his teammate is established and the teammate has to know the pass is coming. See? That's communication. 
Green is checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. The three from Poole. It falls. And that shot brings them to within just one. That is world class. I've seen that there. A huge possession. And he nets it. The pass to Sharich. It's stolen by Green. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. They double team Kirk. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. No good from three point territory. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Taking two shots. He's able to hit the second one, and that'll put them up by two. Timeout call. Six seconds left in the fourth. Fires the three. Right between the eyes. Oh, man, the they're trailing by one one second left to play here in the fourth guys what do you think and they've got enough time left to get a good look it's got to be quick but doesn't have to be a heave you can still catch turn and shoot got one shot at it here obviously it's a make or break situation so it's a narrow victory for the Warriors pulling out the W this win such a tremendous emotional boost for them really in a